A few days ago, a new Starship test tank made its appearance outside of the production site. This is the first Starship Block 3 booster test article named Test Tank 17, and if you remember, this was that new aft section that we saw a few weeks ago. So first off, what are those big holes on the side of the test article? Well, going back to that image of the aft section, you can see that there are 5 big pistons attached to the top of the liquid oxygen header tank. These pistons are used to simulate flight-like forces on the test article to make sure it can withstand the amount of stress during an actual flight, so they are there just for testing purposes. Therefore, these big holes are just there for the pistons to be able to connect to ground support equipment. In addition to the LOX header tank used for the landing burn being a lot taller compared to what was used on previous test articles, some other things have also been noticed. If you look towards the bottom, you can see new square cutouts at the base of the test article. These are likely for a new style of hold-down clamps that use an external finger-like design instead of the flat clamp plate and hinge lock connection to the OLM used on Pad A's orbital launch mount. This was actually present on a SpaceX render released I believe a year ago. Moving on from new clamp designs, you can see that just above the square cutouts that there are some vents positioned uniformly around the circumference of the test article. In addition, there are two other vents placed on top of the dome of the upper tank and one on the side below the weld line of the lower tank. We can also see two QD fill ports that are there just for fitting purposes on the side. Test Tank 17 should be rolling out soon, as there are already road closures from the factory to the mass use test site, so we'll just have to wait and see. As stated, this test article is being referred to as Block 3, so where the hell is Block 2 boosters you might ask? Well, this is likely just for naming's sake, but we believe that SpaceX has renamed what we knew at the time as being Block 2 with Block 3. This likely indicates that boosters that flew with Block 2 ships on Starship Flight 7, 8 onward were referred to as Block 2. But some other people are also saying that it's probably from Booster 7 to Booster 17, probably because Booster 7 was the first to be flown on Starship Flight 1, but this is just speculation so let me know what you think down in the comments below. And also, while you're there, make sure to like and subscribe for future Starship and Blender content coming in the future.